So here we are. I'm here with Erkan. He's just done his no and known uh, here at Banstead. And I'm Rihanna, by the way. And uh, Erkan, you really took us on a roller coaster there. Yeah. Yeah, that's and a, you say that's that. That's a strap <laughs> Absolutely. You, know, you started with your love of car, your passion for cars. Yeah. SOR. Um, Nuremberg Ring, did no, I get no Nuremberg Ring, no 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 ring. Yeah. Um, Crash in the Wall, and then you went on to tell us how you had a Crash in the Wall. Yeah, yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been a it's real been, challenging yeah. year this year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so what do you think brought that on? Oh, uh, I guess it's complicated what brought that on. Um, I guess overall. I've always grown up. I've always grew up with this sense that that I want to, I want the world, I want the world to be just, and I want yeah. it to be fair. And I think there's a lot that I saw in the world that wasn't just, wasn't fair. In fact, it was criminally insane at a level. Yeah. And uh, I've always been, as far as I can remember, I always want to know how things work and I want to make a difference. And over the, my experience of it, especially since 9/11, I'd say, has got that. It's like, it feels like sometimes, in some ways, it's got worse and worse and worse. Yes. You know, and. Uh, um, and the more research and the more I understood about what's been going on, the, the more I felt in despair that nothing's going to make a difference. We're, we're, we're hurtling towards a really... I think Paul Baker said earlier on, we're going to end up extinct at this current rate. We carry on polluting, carry on consuming, carry on doing the landfill, carry on with the wars, AI, 5G, fracking. What's, what's, going, to happen to, what's going to become of us? And I think in that... In that in that concern, um, I guess my concern was also how little people are paying attention. I felt my my uh, my experience of it being on a bus and everyone's asleep. We're about to go over the edge. Okay, yeah. wake up, wake up. And you know, if enough of us wake up, we can change things. Wake up, guys! I'm holding the world. I can see where we're going, and we, we're not making the turn. No, we're not going to. We're not going to. Yeah, we're not going to get out of this. Yeah. Hi, Jill. Yes, yeah. Hydra, so yes, yeah, so that kind of left me in a sense of despair and self-loathing. And, uh, well, yeah. Deep dark place. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. yeah. Now, in the masterclass today, we talked about systemic wing, and Paul Baker talked about. You know, sometimes you have to have that conversation because the relationship has not been great and then you have that conversation, you work through the conflict and you come out stronger at the other end. So do you feel, and maybe I'm putting a question here, um, uh, uh, maybe this is a leading question, yeah. Um, careful. You, careful, 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 yes. Um, this is like having a conversation with yourself. So there's this part of Erkan that's very fearful, very, we're going to hit the wall and this Erkan that knows it will be so much better and we need to get out of it. But you're in this place where you're doing all the research and you're just going deeper, darker, deeper, darker. And um, you came out of it. Yeah. Are you in that stronger place? Mm. How is it different for you? Yeah, uh, I'd say I'm glad I went through it. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I suppose. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I went. I'm, I'm very. I'm very. I'm, in my opinion, I have a good understanding of a lot of things that the majority of people won't have. And yeah. out of my commitment to make a difference in the world, I feel I'm armed with some very critical information. And I think sometimes you can open Pandora's box or you can get close to things. And some of these things are very dark and some of them are really horrendous. And you know, if you, if you do any research around paedophilia or Satanist cults or, um, or really the, the, the impact of war on, you know, what happens when you drop a bomb? Yeah. And and there are thousands of bombs being dropped, and it's not pleasant. So we either kind of ignore it and pretend, oh, let's just think, be positive, and you know, I think there's a lot of new age kind of BS around that for me. Uh, I don't buy the whole new age stuff. You know, I'm not saying some of it isn't valuable, but you sitting on a mountain top meditating isn't going to stop someone dropping a bomb because people are getting bombs dropped on them. I'm promise you, they don't want it. Um, so for me, I think uh, you have to follow your your innate questions, the questions you're asking, 
in line with what you're committed to is important and I think it takes courage it does, it does. In, especially in a world where most people don't want to know no. they'd rather not know they'd rather go why do you have to get into all that stuff well you can either sit and complain about it you can be oblivious to it but I want to do something about it but there's so much to distract us from that as well there's, there's, there's Twitter there's Facebook there's LinkedIn there's all the news fake news as, as we talked about earlier yeah. and there's our lives that we have to get on with there's the money that we have to make yeah. in order to live our lives keep the roof yeah. over our head yeah. we don't have time to research and, and, there's, and there's a reason why that's set that way yeah, if yeah. you keep people entertained and busy enough you can get away with all sorts of things you can do things and they don't even notice and like I said uh, yesterday she listened to the BBC for the first time in maybe oh, I don't know two or three years and I was appalled just the context the framing the way the conversations were concluded I'm like Who's, who's watching? Who's listening to this I know. utter rubbish? And then people swallow it hook, line, and sink. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sure, because um, I've done a be and be known before, you asked me some questions. I've told you about my stepmom. This year, what I've appreciated about my stepmom was all the things she taught me. Yeah. And one of the things she taught me was don't read the newspapers. Not Probably not in the way that I would have liked to be taught not to read the newspapers, but constant the news. Mm. A constant the news. <laughs> but it's not news, that's the point. No, exactly, exactly. So I'm very grateful for that. You asked some very good questions, yeah. and I'll make loads of notes. Okay. One of the um, questions you, you asked was, do we have that much conviction to follow, or do you have that much conviction to follow your dream? This is when you were telling us about Nigel Manson, who had this accident when he broke his neck. That's, that's quite something. It's amazing. It's amazing. Absolutely. You know, yeah. um, I mean, I suppose to go from global events to racing drivers yeah. being world champions, I suppose yes. at a level that's very trivial. Yes. But if that's your passion, yes. and that's your mission, then that's your place. I think you touched on a very good uh, point there because things happen in here at a global level and we can feel, well, how do I influence that? What difference do I make? How can I make a difference? But can we actually make a difference beyond our circle and our relationships? Yeah, I believe we do. How do we do that? How do we do that? Well, you know, if you look at big collaboration, was a conversation and I had that conversation with a few people four or five years ago and they went that's interesting how are you going to do that and that one worked and that will work and I like that bit and what about if we tried this and what about if we did that and then it kind of goes from me on my own to two people to four people to eight people to 16 right we are beyond 16 aren't we 32 yes. 64 120 you know and it just it just starts yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I think if you've got the courage and the hooks is it chutzpah? Chutzpah, yes, yeah. yes. And you keep going, and people, and you, and you're reliable. And I think that was a lesson in the nine be nine. If you keep at it, you get better. And if you keep at it, people go, I I want to be part of that. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're we're finding now we're attracting people to the beat collaboration conversation from from all areas. And and you know they say it takes ten years to become an overnight success. You know, we've been, we haven't even, we, we've not even done our apprenticeship at a level, and you know, we've still got quite a few years in us. So, I guess what I'd lost was that optimism for the future with how serious some of the things that are going on are. Um, but what I've also reconnected to is that not only that I'm committed to making a difference, but I am making a difference at a one on one level, at a, at a wider level, and and we are those ripples reach yes all over I mean we've had conversations with people in New Zealand in America in Africa yes. you know and you just start another little ripple there and you start another ripple and, and you know at some point I'll check out and it'll carry on without me fantastic I think I think we're being asked to wind up but I want to ask you one more question please you, you shared something very personal today being very vulnerable with me how did it feel? It was interesting because the talk that I gave today, I originally designed in May, uh, sorry, June, and I really moved on from there. So I was revisiting some of it, and I think I was able to articulate it in a different way today, more from a looking back at rather than being in it and just coming out of it. And uh, I think within within the community of B collaboration, 
being vulnerable and authentic with people you respect and you love is a gift to me and it's a gift to them. And I've noticed that many people cite the, 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 the members and, and guests that cite one of the most amazing things about being in this community is that safe space to be that vulnerable. Yes. And all I'm doing is just sharing my life like other people have shared theirs. Yes. And I'm um, proud to be able to do that. Thank you for being vulnerable today. And thank you for sharing. Thank you for the pleasure. Thank you for interviewing me. Thank you. So, everybody, thanks to Rihanna for interviewing me. So, it's me, Akan Ali, and Rihanna Avis here at the Banstead yes. meeting down in Surrey. If you've got a interest or curiosity about B Collaboration and what we're getting up to in these meetings, go on the website www.bcollaboration.com. Look at events and book in and come now. The last meeting of the year this year is on the 27th um, of November. It's a Tuesday night in central London, and afterwards, we're having our end of year celebration. So, if you feel like coming to at least one meeting before the yeah, that's the one it's the only one and then meetings will resume again in January and we look forward to uh, your feedback comments click subscribe I don't know I don't know if you've got to subscribe on this but anyway <laughs> no. take care thanks very much bye thank you bye